me. And today we are checking out some dumb hacks. Mad at your kids? Take their poppets. Whoa, you can just like all of the pop parts come out. Like you could destroy a kid's toy that easily. You know, just take them and put them all over your toilet. Why? For a cushion? Now you got something to play with. Y'all don't bring your phone to the toilet and watch Tiki Talkies for half an hour. I feel like if we didn't have phones or TikTok, then this might be kind of fun. Imagine sharing this with a boy. Give it a few days. It's gonna be yellow. Pop it gonna turn into piss it. Do you ever shut the door on your skirt and then, oh no! Don't worry, there are shorts under there. Bro, that is a denim skirt. Those things are practically indestructible. There is no way. If this happens to you enough times, make a skirt out of it. Yeah, because you're not gonna learn the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times that a door shuts on you and ends up ripping your clothes off. That's the only way that you'll have enough waistbands to do this tack. If you literally never learn. You know what? I'm starting to think she likes the attention. You trying to get your crushes attention on the way to school. Oopsie! You know, I didn't bag me a boyfriend, but I bagged me this denim skirt. Step one, blow up a balloon. Press your phone into it until it deflates and wha-bam. You have a phone case that does absolutely nothing. What will a balloon protect from? You know, the whole point of a phone case is to protect your phone from abuse. What's a balloon gonna do? All it did was block off the home button. Thank you for the useless hack. Are you an idiot that constantly finds himself splashing in wet puddles? You know, let's rewind here. This would have never happened if you had your handy dandy balloon sock that you carry around with you everywhere you go. You know, just in case this ever happens to you. Oh, perfect. Now we can stop in the wet puddle without fear of water seeping through the shoe and getting the sock wet. You know, next time if only we could use our brain and step over the puddle. Insane, like you didn't have to step down like that. You could have walked over over it, but no, you chose this life. Like imagine walking with your friends like, is that a puddle? One minute, I have the perfect hack for this. Pull out your goofy out balloon sock, slip it right over your shoe like, okay, now I'm ready. You know, if you ever have five minutes to do a neato five minute hack, take a couple gallons of liquid silicone. What do you mean you don't have gallons of liquid silicone in your cabinet? Stick your foot in it, pour some soap in it. We're making a foot shaped soap, aren't we? That was a lot of silicone. Something that every household should have plenty of. Just in case they want to make foot shaped soap. That's weird. Why would you want to wash your hands with a mold of your foot? Some people really like feet, I guess. Birthday party with the girls! Except we don't have plates or utensils, so everybody grab your glass and have a scoop of cake. Cheers, my friends! I mean, I kinda like this idea, but y'all don't have any utensils. What are you gonna do? Are y'all gonna drink the cake out of the glass? Like, you still need a fork. I mean, I guess it saves you the trouble of using a knife. I'm gonna give them this one. Rare five minute crafts dub. What is the point of that? Half of their hacks are just clickbait. Like, oh look, we spray painted some spaghetti, stabbed the bottom of a shoe and made this. How will it support the weight of a fully grown adult human if it can't crush a balloon? Uh, I guess this is a how to impress your crush hack. Y'all at a restaurant together and y'all waiting for the food. Take both cups and just pull out your handy dandy balloon and just blow it up. Are you impressed? Do you love me yet? I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of impressive. If somebody did that to me, I'd be like, I'd be just a little impressed. Did they just melt the cups? Where did the cup go? It just turned into a piece of salami. There's no way, what are you gonna do? Make it into a coaster for a real glass cup. Oh, that was cold. Does this not feel illegal? You know, at least disrespectful. Y'all took a plastic cup, made it into a coaster for a real cup. Is this a subtle jab at the solo cups? Cause I don't like them either. Don't you hate when that happens? Silly woman, you are not a can of soup. There is no way you could sit on a box without it breaking. Oh, she's going to prove me wrong. She's going to make it into a seat. Yes, because boxes are for sitting. You know, if you can't sit on it, what's the point? She really did make it into a little seat. You know, there is a perfectly good couch right there. And what appears to be a stool? You even got the floor. No, I insist on sitting on this box. You know, of all the places to sit in this house, sis wants to sit on a box. Is there any Anybody out there who can relate to this? Like seriously, are there actual living, breathing people out there that would rather sit on a box than a couch or the floor? Why are you mopping the toilet? Oh no! You know, these are the same people who make ramen noodles in their toilet bowl. The same people who seasoned chicken in their sink. Oh, I washed my toilet, it's clean. So I'm gonna use this water. I don't care how much chemicals you put in there, you are mopping with toilet water. This has gotta be the housekeeper getting revenge. Oh, your floors aren't clean enough? I'll show you clean. Toilet water scrubbing like 
sweet sense of pine and piss. Okay, this is a valid hack. I've tried this. You can turn a crossbody into a backpack. Some of their hacks are actually legit. Like you put it over their neck and then flip it over. A wham bam crossbody into a backpack, ma'am. This one is valid. I'd be lying if they said they didn't have any bangers. You wanna pick up a wet baby? Hold the blanket like this. Shake your baby off. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I've never had to pick up a wet baby, but if I did, I know how. Take some bikini bottoms and then tie the middle. And then you got a bikini top? Okay, that actually slapped. Like, look at that. Those are bikini bottoms. So if you somehow end up with two bottoms and need a top, tie the middle. That's actually a banger. I can't believe it worked. You need to put your fitted mattress on. You know, we going down with it. You know, if only my bed was that small. That bed barely even fit him. Okay, try doing this on a king size bed. The fitted sheet isn't even the hard part. The duvet cover. Especially when you got buttons. I got like 20 buttons on mine. I gotta like unbutton it, take it off, wash it, flip it inside out, and then somehow put it back. It's like dressing and undressing a toddler. Very large, square shaped toddler. Pet hair on your couch. Take a comb and comb it up. See, it's easy to clean, you're just being lazy. I didn't know this was a thing, so I got a lint roller for my couch. Yes, they make those. They're like big lint rollers that you could just like skirt over your couch. Or I'll just vacuum it. That works too. Take a pineapple. Cut a slice. Put it on your musty, crusty feet. Not in your mouth, don't eat it, no. This is for your crusty, musty heels. You told me he gotta walk around all day on some pineapple skin, roast feet be looking like leftovers. Amazing results. Yeah, that definitely wasn't a pedicure. I mean, they got foot masks. You just slip them on like socks. You don't have to disrespect the pineapple like this and walk around on it all day. But I guess that makes sense, like the enzymes in pineapple will literally eat away dead skin. I'm no expert, but I feel like eating it would be better. Y'all ever dig through your box of old clothes? Get some old jeans, oh no. Don't let her find out about the other hack. They would be using all these old jeans for the waistband. Oh, what's she gonna do? Tie it around? Make some jeans with a triple waistband? Do you think you're better than the rest of us? Just cause you got three waistbands? What was the point? I thought she was gonna make some cute top. But no, that's literally it. Now you look stupid. It's like wearing three watches on one hand. When you need three waistbands for? Now you're just being greedy. Take some chocolate, yogurt, flavored chocolate, pour it into some resin, cause all of us have resin laying around too. Now make a little chocolate preserved earring out of it. Now I prefer to eat my chocolate, thank you very much, but y'all here making earrings out of it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Take a rubber band, bake in the sun for a few hours. You have a little heart shaped tan line. You can also do it with stickers. Put a sticker on and then tan. It's not a bad idea. Whereas like with a rubber band, you literally cannot move. How to smuggle in drinks. Fill a balloon with some Fanta. Stick it in your shirt. Now you and the best, you're gonna literally drink these double Ds away. You know, take an empty pill container, put some toothpaste in it, so that when you go on a camping trip, you have this handy dandy little container that has single surf toothpaste. You know, if you have enough space to put that in your bag, then you have enough space for a travel size toothpaste. What's the point? Now you wasted all that time doing this, when you could have spent the dollar on a mini toothpaste. You know, you can even walk into most hotels and ask for one for free. Y'all ever get some brand new shoes, stomp around in a puddle of mud until it leaks into your socks? Moist sock, no problem. Just whip out the roll of duct tape you keep in your back pocket at all times and just wrap your entire foot into it until it cuts off circulation. I'm trying to figure out why. Instead of walking home in a wet shoe, you're gonna duct tape your entire foot. Also, why did they do it over the socks? Isn't the sock moist? You're trapping in the moisture. You're gonna be like walking around in a slushy sock. That's gross. I mean, Maybe stop stomping around in wet, muddy piles. Learn your lesson. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Comment below which one was the dumbest hack. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.